Well, on a brighter note, commercial break. The government has now banned the carrying of spears. Stop about every thousand miles ain't asking too much, is it? You might wish to uh, stay on and listen. Speaking today will be Peter Lane, the acting station manager of Channel 31, Corinne Armstrong, general manager of RMI TV, one of the groups of Channel 31, and Jane Turner, comedian extraordinaire and also a part of Men TV. Peter Lane. Thanks, Oliver. I suppose the question a lot of people say is why more television? Well, in our case, we don't want to criticise existing television. Lots of other people can do that for us. We believe that this television... Well, on a brighter note... Commercial break. The government has now banned the carrying of spears. Stop about every thousand miles ain't asking too much, is it? You might wish to uh, stay on and listen. Speaking today will be Peter Lane, the acting station manager of Channel 31, Corinne Armstrong, general manager of RMI TV, one of the groups of Channel 31, and Jane Turner, comedian and a part of Men TV. Peter Lane. Thanks, Oliver. I suppose the question a lot of people say is why more television? Well, in our case, we don't want to criticise existing television. Lots of other people can do that for us. We believe that this television will be very different and it will be involved in the process. The primary aim of Melbourne Community Television, MCT 31, is to give access to the television medium to those who are currently denied it. The secondary aim is to give training in the television medium to those who are currently denied it. I suppose there's a, a number of primary differences between MCT 31 and other commercial and national telecasters. And they are the fact that the audience are the producers. The channel is accessible to members of the public to have their views broadcast. MCT 31 is a local station by and for the people of Melbourne. We're looking at providing real programs, giving information and entertainment relevant to people's daily lives, rather than giving information and entertainment that comes out of somebody's imagination and is either fantastic or sensational been a very big job to get to this stage. It's been over 16 years we've been pushing for community television. It's been all volunteer until the last month. And convincing the federal government to give licenses to volunteer organisations has not been easy. Then I'll hand over to Corinne Armstrong, who is the general manager of RMI TV, one of the currently eight full member groups of Melbourne. Today I'm here as a representative of Melbourne Community Television. Uh, and to talk about the television audience and the individual groups that come from across RMI TV, which is the gay and lesbian television group, Rom TV, which is Operation Zero, which is representing the northern suburbs, BAT, which is uh, the Yarrow region, and SCAR, in our southeastern suburbs. Together we provide the program for Channel 31. Uh, we offer our production houses. Each of us uh, make our programs and submit them to the program council of the CPC. Each group has a representative on the management board of the programming council. So it remains or is a very democratic process of not only program selection, but also of management, policy making, decision making, that type of thing where each group has an input in the line of Each has a lot of that community that are accessible at by the people, for the people. This is like a training a television channel never been in an edit suite. We will also become an industry trainer, uh, teaching people it will be a career a professional career. But the main thing is that it provides opportunity and access. And that the people that want to go on and make a little bit to get on, have your say and just enjoy what television is all about. And of course up until now television has been a very elusive medium. So that's what we're about. And uh, Jane Turner, who you all know, is going to talk about her experience uh, in the community television board. Thank you. Yes, well, um, I'm really happy to be here to help launch um, MCT31. Um, I think as an actor and for actors, because we had such a hard time getting big jobs 
um, you know, so it isn't to provide so much more, um, so much chance to train and do experiments, create, produce, um, get all the jobs that you'd never get to have in a professional career as well. Um, I've been five or six years, so I'm, I know that it can sometimes be looking at the ratings and that with all those. Uh, but I'm, yeah, I'm really involved and I hope I'll um, get a gig maybe on harness racing. I've got my little, uh, my little buggy all set up and I've got the room so I can come and have a job. <laughs> I'd like to take the opportunity to officially announce the opening of Channel 31 in Melbourne, NCT 31. Peter Lane, the acting manager of MCT and welcome to our podcast here today, the official opening of MCT 31. Uh, what you're going to see tonight is a sample of programs for the past made by our full member group through a community-based television uh, national promotional video called Who's Television that's designed to give information to groups want to get about what community television is and how they can get involved. After that, we'll have an introduction to Shalom TV, one of our member groups who represents the Jewish community. Nat TV, the northeast suburbs group. We'll then go on to Scarborough, eastern suburbs of Melbourne, then to RMI TV, student programming, then into eastern regional access to the region of Melbourne. So that was the Asian TV Association, and then RAT TV, the Arab region, followed by Bent TV, the gay and lesbian community of Melbourne. I guess the uh, the question earlier was, why more television? That's often the thing, especially if you're looking and do you really want your children to be seeing more television? I guess the simple difference here is that this television is about access to the people. The ordinary person, whoever an ordinary person is, you, me, everybody here in the studio, everyone at home. We've worked hard for 15 years off and on in Victoria for Melbourne Community Television to become a reality. We believe that most people can easily learn and get the skills needed put good television to air. Our definition of good television is a little different perhaps from national broadcasters. We think good television means television made by the community that's of interest and direct relevance to them rather than the slick production or slick presentation, even though we'd love to have the money to do that too. Uh, next week, uh, next week we get our program in full starting on Monday the and we'd like you all to tune in and watch the full program. We're going to air Monday to Thursday starting at the every night. What we hear is, I suppose you'd call it niche programming or specialist programming. The program is totally irrelevant to you. Some of it you'll love. You'll hate it. But that's what we're about. We're not about the lowest common denominator, about television that everybody's going to like a little bit. We're about television for you in your home. If it be your local cricket team, if it be your, in your native language that's not English, if it be uh, a disability group that you might belong to, uh, if it be a sporting club. We're about television made by the people for the people. We hope that you'll watch our program tonight and starting next week. Tune in and get back to us. We're inviting audience feedback on everything from the style of program, the content, uh, whether you like our sponsor announcements or not, uh, whether you want to get involved, whether you want to be a group, whether you want to be part of Melbourne Community Television. We see the first few months up until this year as a, like a trying out period. Some things will last, some will go. And that's natural when all programs are voluntarily made and no one gets paid for making them. We hope that the people of Melbourne will welcome this, have a look at what we've got to come and tell us if you don't like it, and try and make something better, because we're by no means the experts. What MPT31 aims to do is be a distribution mechanism for you out there in the community to get your access to television so you can have your say. I think I'll uh, pretty much leave it at that. Uh, the first program tonight, as I said before, is in. It's uh, got a lot of material from community TV groups around Australia, not just Melbourne community television. I'm going to give you a look at what community television can offer. Following that, we'll have Jill Poznanski presenting Shalom TV, uh, the Jewish community television group, part of Well, that's all from me. I hope you'll tune in tonight. I hope you'll continue to tune in and enjoy tonight's video. Good night. How's my video? Fine, thanks. Stand by, everyone. Roll back, please. Rolling. One click, one. And what is television? So, what is television?
television. Mm. Mm. Telethon, teletype, televiewer. Oh, television. It's the simultaneous visual reproduction of the images performances. At a distance. What about this? Communal television. That's a communal television. That is. It's the communal television. It's in the process of community television. It's the new channel on your TV set. How do you get it? Turn it on the unit. Yes. Community television has something for everyone. But actually, it's still stationed. What I don't like about television is that there's a bit of a monopoly on television. And if a limited point of view, the way it's sensationalised things, the public should be allowed to put an input into TV because they are the ones that are watching it. It's not having even imposed identity upon us, and it just doesn't fit. It's not one that it's not aware of everyone or what it's doing, because it doesn't have input from um, people who live. The elite sports are covered in the stand. We've got many communities, television, different... Uh... Television is something we're all very familiar with, but how old are you, or even someone that's the chance to really make a difference to what we watch on TV. For a long time. Community access television is about opening up the airwaves to the public, or giving the community access to the making of television. Welcome to this, the final edition of Media Blitz. It's not program short film that programmers, stations really know what's showing and at what time. And finally, we take a look at what you, the viewer, thought of this year's television. Do you think that it would be uh, a good thing to have more access to TV by the general public? Very much so, because then um, it's the community deciding what it is we're seeing on the TV and not a producer or a director in some office somewhere telling us what we're going to like. Yeah, I think there should be because it probably would give a, a more overall picture rather than kind of, you know, selective views. Yeah, I'd, I think that would be, um, be really interesting. Me personally, I've always been fascinated by, by the actual industry. Yeah. So I'd, I'd love to be able to get involved. And that's exactly what... Um, I think as, as an actor and for actors, it's going to be fantastic because we had such a hard time getting gigs and getting jobs. Um, you know, so this is going to provide so much more, um, so much more chance to train and to experiment, create, produce, um, get, all, get jobs that you'd never get before and, you know, help you in a professional career. Um, having worked on commercial television for five or six years, um, I know that it can sometimes be absolutely death to creativity when they're chasing the ratings and the, the dollars. But I'm, yeah, I'm really thrilled about bowls and I hope I'll um, get a gig maybe on harness racing. I've got my jockey cap and my little, uh, <laughs> my little buggy all set up and I've got the ruling, so I think I'll yeah, be happy to be a jockey today. Thanks. <laughs> I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you all for coming and to officially announce the opening of Channel 31 in Melbourne, NCT 31. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Lane, the acting station manager of NCT 31, and welcome to our telecast. Uh, that, what you just saw was earlier today, the official opening of NCT 31. Uh, what you're going to see tonight is a sample of programs for the past made by our full member groups, who are community-based television production groups. Uh, first up, you'll see... Hi, Peter Lane, the acting station manager of NCT 31, and welcome to our telecast. Uh, that's what you just saw was earlier today, the official opening of NCT. Hi, I'm Peter Lane, the acting station manager of NCT 31, and welcome to our telecast. Uh, that's what you just saw was earlier today, the official opening of NCT 31. Uh, what you're going to see tonight is a sample of programs for the past made by our full member groups, who are community-based television production groups. 
Uh, first up, you'll see a national promotional video called Who's Television? It's designed to give information to groups who want to get on community television about what community television is and how they can get involved. After that, we'll have an introduction to Shalom TV, one of our member groups who represents the Jewish community in Melbourne. That'll be followed by Nat TV, the Northern Access Group. We'll then go on to Scar TV, serving Inner South and Eastern Suburbs of Melbourne. Then RMI TV, student programming. Then into Eastern Regional Access, serving the Outer Eastern Region of Melbourne. After that, we have the Asian TV Association. And then Rat TV, Yarra Region Television. Followed by Bent TV, serving the gay and lesbian community of Melbourne. I guess uh, and that's often the thing, especially if you're looking at children and you really want children to be seeing more television, then it's the Jewish community in Melbourne. That'll be followed by Nat TV, the Northern Access Suburbs Group. We'll then go on to Scar TV, serving Inner South and Eastern Suburbs of Melbourne. Then to RMI TV, student programming. Then into Eastern Regional Access, serving the Outer Eastern Region of Melbourne. After that, we have the Asian TV Association and TV, Yarra Region Television, followed by Bent TV, serving the gay and lesbian community of Melbourne. I guess the, the question that was asked earlier was, why more television? And that's often the thing, especially if you're looking at children and do you really want your children to be seeing more television? I guess the central difference here is that this television is about access to the people, the ordinary person whatever an ordinary person is, you can go everyone at home. With, for 16 years off and on in Victoria, for Melbourne Community Television to become a reality, we believe that most people can easily learn and get the skills needed to put good television to air. Our definition of good television is a little different perhaps from the commercial and national broadcast. Because good television means television which is of interest and direct relevance to them, rather than the slick production or slick presentation, even though we'd love to have the money to do that too. Uh, next week, uh, next week we get our program in full starting on Monday the 6th and we'd like you all to tune in and watch the full program. We're going to be Monday every night. What we're doing here is, I suppose you'd call it niche programming or specialist programming. Some of the programming will be totally irrelevant to you, some of it you'll love, some of it you'll hate. But that's what we're about. We're not about the lowest denominator, about television that everybody's going to like a little bit. We're about television for you and your home, if it seems. If it be your, in your native language that's not English, if it be uh, a disabilities group that you might belong to, uh, if it be a, a sporting club. We're about television made by the people for the people. We hope that you'll watch our programming tonight and starting next week. Tune in and get back to us. Fighting looking back on everything from the style of program, the content, uh, whether you like our sponsor announcements or not, uh, whether you want to get involved, whether you want to start a group, and whether you want to be part of Melbourne Community Television. We see the first few months up until December this year as a, like a trying out period. Some programs will last, some will go. And that's natural when all of the programs are volunteer made and no one gets paid for making them. We hope that the people of Melbourne will welcome this, have a look at what we've got to offer, come and tell us if you don't like it, and try and make something better, because we're by no means the experts. What MCT31 aims to do is be a distribution mechanism for you out there in the community to get your access to television so that you can have your say. Well, I think I'll uh, pretty much leave it at that. Uh, our first program tonight, as I said before, is Who's Television? It's uh, got a lot of material from community TV groups around Australia, not just Melbourne Community Television. And it's uh, designed to give you a look at what community television can offer. Following that, we'll have Jill Posnansky presenting Shalom TV, uh, the Jewish community television group, part of Melbourne Community Television. Well, that's all from me. I hope you'll tune in tonight. I hope you'll continue to tune in, and I hope you enjoy tonight's hearing. Good night.